Hi guys and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this video, you will learn how to create a model pop-up using Bootstrap 5. Here we have a contact us button and when we click on this button, a pop-up is displayed. This model pop-up consists of three parts, header, body and footer. In the header, we'll have the model title which is contact us and the body has name email and message and lastly in the footer we have the two buttons submit and cancel so let's see how we can achieve this here we have a blank index.html file and like usual we'll go to the bootstrap website and just copy the starter template and paste it in our index.html file We'll get rid of the unwanted lines. And we'll change the title to Bootstrap 5 model. Let's check in the browser. Okay, it works fine. Now in the body, we'll create a container. The class is equals to container. We'll give some space on the top. So margin top. Okay. Next, we'll create a button. Like we saw in the demo, we have a contact us button. So we'll just create that. We'll give the text contact us. Now on click of this button, we need to display a pop-up. So for that, let's create the div of the model div class is equals to model and in order to open the pop-up we have to give a id to the model i'll give id is equals to my model so uh, in the button we have to give data base toggle is equals to model and data base target is equals to we have to give the id of the model that is my model so now you can see the background has become dark but we are not able to see anything in the model because we don't have any content right now so we'll just create a div and give a class model dialog and after that we'll give model content Inside this content, we'll have three sections, model header, model body and model footer. So inside model header, we'll have model title. I'll just give H5 and model title as class and text will give contact us. Now you can see that we have got the heading because we have just created the header. Next we'll create the close button as we have seen in the demo. So for that I'll just give button type is equals to button and class button close. But right now, if you see on click of the close icon, the model is not getting closed. So in order to achieve that, 
we have to give theta b s decimal is equals to model so now it works perfectly fine next we'll just add some colors to the header model header i'll give background as orange color and the text as white color okay now we'll go next to the body create a div and give class model body inside the body we'll create a form and we will start coding the um, name email and message so inside a div we'll give label class as form label name and input type text class is equals to form control we'll duplicate this two times and we'll change it second one to the email and the third label to type your message here and here we need a text area since it is a message text area class is equals to form control we'll just delete this next we'll create the button button type is equals to submit and class will give button button primary so right now you can see we have name email type a message here but we need some breathing space between this field so i'll just give margin bottom 3 and we'll give the text of the button as submit we are done with header and body now we'll move on to the footer i'll just create a div and give the class model footer and we'll bring the submit button inside this model footer and i'll create another button and name it cancel we'll give the color of this button as red so button danger let us just remove this top button okay now let's check in the browser just click on the button now you can see name email type your message and the two buttons submit and cancel here we can add one more thing we can give these fields as required fields we can do that by using css but that will just give a class to the label as required and in the css we'll use the class required colon after and content will give the asterisk symbol with color red So guys, today we have learned how to create a model pop-up using Bootstrap 5. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Bye.